Hi, Simon & Schuster Kids subscribers. My name is Patricia Lakin. I am the author of Max and Mo Science Fair Surprise, which I'm going to share with you today. It was illustrated by Patricia Lamont in the style of Brian Floca. Max and Mo were best friends. They lived in a cozy cage in the art room at school. What are the big ones making? asked Mo. And if you wonder who the big ones are, you're right, you, the students. Max read the sign. Poster, said Max, for the science fair. We like science. We can look at their posters for ideas, said Max. This poster shows us how to get out of our cage, said Mo. We can use our wheel. You pull, I push. Max climbed up and out. Mo climbed up and out. Down, down, down they slid. I pulled, said Max. I pushed, said Mo. And we used the ramp. We are clever hamsters. We need a project, said Mo. What will it be? Max wondered. Mo scratched his chin. He read another poster. How a plant grows. The book says beans need water and sun to grow, said Max. We can try to grow them. Max looked at the list of things they would need. Cotton, cups, beans, where can we find them? Mo scratched his chin. He saw a bin. Let's dive in. Cotton balls, cheered Mo. Look at my beard, said Max. I have a cup cap, said Mo, and beans too. How can we carry them? asked Max. They can go in this lunchbox, said Mo. Now we push, said Max. Up we go. Plink, plank, plunk. I am waiting, said Max. I am watching, said Mo. They waited and watched and counted. Nothing yet, said Max. A few days later, I see white roots, said Mo. I see green shoots, said Max. Our beans are growing. Now we can make our poster. A few minutes later, someone picked up the cage. Bing, bang, bong. Where are we going, Max and Mo wondered. Yay! We are at the science fair, too! Max and Mo cheered. Science is so much fun. Now stay tuned to find out how you can do the exact same project that Max and Mo did. First, I take a clear plastic cup. Then I stuff cotton balls into the cup. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then what I do is I take beans, those are dried beans. I like to stick them around the edge of the cup so that when they start to sprout, it's very easy to see. Then I add water, and because I don't want the cotton to get too, too wet, I use a spray bottle and make sure that they're wet, but not soaking wet. Then put it on a windowsill and watch and wait, and before you know it, you will have sprouted uh, beans. 